What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another review uh, with the announcement of iOS 13 or iPad OS, um, whatever we're gonna call it. There have been a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades. There are a lot of things I'm looking forward to and a lot of things that mm, probably won't stand up just because these features have been out for a while. But either way, I'm gonna break it down and show you some of the best things that I like about iPad OS or iOS 13. And then we'll take just a quick look at some of the best features I think that they will be able to offer to us as consumers. Let's check it out. So guys, for iPad OS, this is what we can look forward to. One of the most beautiful displays that we have seen um, so far on an iPad. You notice you can have your notification screen. You can basically kind of customize this the way you want to. You can actually pin things to your home screen from your notifications. And then Apple also offers something that has been around for a while. You guessed it, dark mode. Now, dark mode has been with other companies for a while, but Apple is finally bringing it to their platform. So we'll be able to enjoy our screen and our apps in a different light using dark mode. Now, moving on, we're gonna be looking at the features in the Apple Pencil. If you notice right there in the red circle, Apple Pencil now enables us to have a template. Yes, we get a template where we can scroll through colors and different types of brushes, pens, pencils, and different types of erasers. Also, in with the new Apple Pencil uh, features, you can actually do markup on the internet. So if you have a website that you're trying to mark up, you just copy that cut it basically and you're going to be able to mark that up and use it any kind of way that you would like to next an all new way to cut copy paste it's it's brilliant um no more shaking the ipad no more clunky gestures we are going to be able to do everything in the simplicity of just a few finger swipes so cut copy paste undo everything is right there at our fingertips now using these simple gestures the keyboard. Now, the keyboard has been one of the mainstays for Apple, but now we get tons of different shortcuts. We only have a handful right now, but in the future update, iPad OS, we're gonna get a lot of different shortcuts that we'll be able to use. And these shortcuts basically just make our lives a whole lot easier and make everything a whole lot more convenient while using your iPad for that all around great experience. Finally, what I've been looking for is the file sharing, true file sharing of documents and things of that nature. Uh, one of the best features I feel that will be coming to this device, we'll be able to collaborate with our friends, share our files, share our folders, and especially if we're in a business, we can do this on the go. And then we will be able to connect our hard drives. Finally, Apple was listening to us hard drives, USB drives. Um, we can also, we can already do a little bit of that, but now we'll be able to get those external hard drives the best use um, that we can. So guys, we have a lot going on in this new build of iOS, uh, iPad OS. There are tons of things that we're gonna be able to do, customize different features. As you see, as we scroll through this, all of these apps will be updated and modified. The mouse hardware or the mouse software will be enabled. We'll be able to use a mouse. Um, it, it will make the experience all the way around that much more better. And if you take a look at this last one, all these devices will be compatible. So reaching all the way back to the iPad Air 2, you'll be able to update that and you will be able to use this iPad OS. So hope this is able to help someone out. We are all looking forward to this new uh, version of iOS. This is gonna be a great one. I think it's gonna be a really good update with the exception of some things like dark mode and swipe. We've been doing that forever with Google, but I think this update will make the iPad a little more relevant and it'll give us a little bit more usage out of this great device that we have. So I hope this is able to help someone out guys. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.